Thank you so much for watching this week's Tip of the Week. I'm here with Weston Zimmerman from Synced Up. Had a great conversation. If you like what you hear, make sure to like this below and add any comments you want for the future. I argue that to boost your close rate as a salesperson, it's less about being the cheapest or being economically priced. It's more about be having the best client experience and turning that quote back as quick as possible. Because I like to pose this question. If two contractors bid the same job, the one is cheaper, but it takes them three weeks to get the quote back. The other one is more expensive, but they have the quote back in 24 hours. Which one's going to win? Well, you know, you're dealing with somebody on that professional level. Yeah. Statistically, the 24 hour quote is going to win every time. And I think getting back to the professionalism, you know exactly every dollar that's going to be allocated to that job. So if you're if you're close and somebody comes to you and says, you know what, you're a little bit higher, you know what your profitability is going to be on that job. So if you say, you know what, I could I could shave off five hundred dollars or a thousand, whatever it is, you know, whatever that number might be. But you know exactly where you're at number wise so that you're in control of that destination. Yeah, and you have to know your break even on every job. That's a that's a litmus test. That, like, if you're listening to this, if you don't know your break even on every job, meaning if you give a twenty thousand dollar quote, what's your break even? Sixteen thousand five. What what is your break even? If you don't know that, that's what doing a budget and knowing your numbers does for you. And it's 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 liberating having that power of that confidence of the, like you know exactly what your break even is. And you know me, I'm always going to advocate for don't negotiate on price, negotiate on scope. So if they want to save a thousand bucks off, well, I can turn it into a square design so I don't have to cut any curves in. That'll save you a thousand bucks. How's that sound? You know, I, I'm always about never negotiate with your profit, negotiate on scope. That's a level of professionalism to it. I think that can gain respect in a customer. You know, when they know that you are, you know your numbers that well, I think that does add some clout to your, to your sale. It does because, you know, we live in a consumer based society where everything has a discount. Well, homeowners don't know that in construction, like there is no such thing. You can't really do that. You know, they don't know that it's our job to educate them in a professional way. And when they say, well, can you is, can you shave a thousand bucks off really and be like, well, no, I can't. But I can sh I can come up with creative solutions in the job design to help you shave a thousand bucks to meet your budget. When you do that, you speak as a person that has confidence that knows what they're talking about. And so many times the client is just pushing to see what happens. And if they win, great, they they want a thousand bucks. If they don't, the other thing too is, is if you do accept the cheaper price without changing the scope, subconsciously, even though the client may never quite actually think this, subconsciously, you just undermined your own credibility because you're like, what, you were trying to, were you trying to just take me over? Because you can just take a thousand bucks off without, changing anything like were you trying to just take advantage of me you know that's what you subliminally insert when you do that thank you for watching this week's tip of the week you can sign up for our tip of the week on our website at pavetool.com you can also watch us on instagram facebook and youtube